after the shot, I got a hold of Andy. I went back to the lodge. We hooked the footage up to the TV and reviewed it a bunch of times, slow motion. It appeared that the shot was maybe a little low. Andy and I decided to go back out. We had good blood for about 150 yards, and just like that, it dried up. So we pulled out and uh, asked Andy if he knew of any good tracking dogs in the area, and Buck 5 Outdoors was brought up, which is Lane and Brody Grice and their dog, Copper. And within eight hours after the shot had occurred, Brody and Lane were over there with Copper, and we got back to the woods, picked up the blood trail, and about three and a half miles later, after going up and down ravines through the woods across wide open cornfields, it had become pretty evident that this deer wasn't going to die. Obviously, it bums me out, but that's bull hunting for you, and that's sometimes how it goes. I mean, Copper did a fantastic job along with Brody and Lane. I think he was on his ninth track, Brody had said. He had found all the deer. Uh, he actually did find one deer that was still alive, and that was the only one that had gotten away up until mine. But when the deer's not dead, there's not a lot you can do about it, and I guess that's just part of bull hunting. Mm -hmm.